good morning students in this video we are going to discuss about the memory system module number 4 of computer organization and architecture what actually a memory system is programs and the data they operate or on are held in the memory of a computer so actually uh, the execution speed of a program is highly dependent on the speed with which the instructions and the data can be transferred between the processor and the memory. It is also important to have a large memory to facilitate the execution of programs that are large and deal with huge amount of data. Ideally, the memory would be fast, large and inexpensive. Unfortunately, it is impossible to meet all three of these requirements simultaneously increases the speed and size are achieved at increased cost only so we have uh, some other solutions to solve this problem the much work has gone to developing a clever structure that improves the apparent speed and size of the memory so it keep the cost reasonable actually so in this module we are going to discuss about or uh, describe the most common components and organizations used to implement the memory and we are going to see about the introduction of memory system, basic concepts in the memory and we are going to discuss about the types of memories uh, and we are going to see about how the memory speed is going to be or how we are going to, uh, how uh, the apparent speed of the memory can be increased by means of a, a cache memories and uh, the virtual memory concepts uh, which increases the apparent size of the memory. So finally, we can discuss about the storage devices called secondary storage devices, uh, which provides a much large storage capacity. So first we will see the uh, introduction to memory system. So introduction to memory system. What is a memory actually? Memory is an internal storage area in which the computer, uh, the term memory defines or identifies the data storage that comes in the form of chips and the word uh, storage is used for memory that exists on the tapes or disks. Moreover, the term uh, memory is usually uh, used as shorthand for physical memory, which refers to the actual chips capable of holding the data. Uh, some computers also use as virtual memory, which expands physical memory onto a hard disk. A, chips, a chip is a small piece of semiconductor material, usually it's going to be a silicon material on which an integrated circuit is embedded. A typical chip is less than a uh, quarter of uh, so quarter square inches uh, and can contain millions of electronic components like resistor, diode, transistors. Maximum it's going to be a transistor based chips are going to be present over them. This is going to be called as a memory. Uh, how the memories are going to get classified. Um, there are uh, many ways in which the types of memories or storage uh, can be classified. We are going to see few classifications over here. The first one based on the technology may be a magnetic or electric. It's a volatile memory and non-volatile memory. Uh, volatile memories are going to be called as electrical storage. Non-volatile memories are going to be called as magnetic storage. And based on primary access from the CPU, uh, based on the, uh, how the speed of access of the memory is going to be happen. Based on that, we are going to uh, classify as primary memory and secondary memory. Uh, in generally, primary memories are going to be called as main memory, uh, random access memory, which needs, which are going to be a fast accessing memories. And secondary memories are called as auxiliary memory, which are going to be a slower access and for example in a hard disk or external memories external devices which connected to the computer and based on uh, technology of read or write method it's going to be classified as read only memory or write once read many times memory read write memory or random access memory uh, based on the mechanism of reading the memory uh, it can be classified as random access and sequential access based on the media categories that is mainly disk based or rather than memory based the memories are going to be classified as secondary storages optical storage and magnetic storages so these are the classifications of memory so memories are going to be classified as based on the technology based on the primary access from the cpu 
based on technology of write read method based on the mechanism of reading the memory based on media categories uh, let us see about uh, the difference between the memories or the classifications of memories volatile versus non volatile memory the volatile memory which is going to be always uh, uh, a content of the memory disappears when the power goes off whereas the non volatile memory content remains unchanged until or when the power goes off and in generally volatile memories are uh, made up of semiconductor material whereas non volatile are going to be in magnetic or a magnetic tape or optical discs examples of volatile is nothing but a ram cache memory registers etc whereas and one non volatile memories are hard disk cd ram or magnetic tapes etc coming to the differentiation between the primary memory and secondary memory the primary memory the memory in which cpu can access directly is called as primary memory whereas the cpu cannot access directly is going to be called as secondary memory example of primary memories are ram cache memory registers whereas the secondary memories must be loaded at the primary memory before uh, they go to cpu whereas the primary memories or memories are volatile memories whereas the secondary memories are always a non volatile memory let's see about a difference between read only memory and read write memory or random access memory a read only memory is one which information is permanently stored whereas read write memory or random access memory its uh, information may be inf information may be stored a permanent or temporary based on the uh, battery backup which has been connected to the particular memory uh, in the rom read only memory the information from the memory can read uh, one can be read uh, and it is not possible to write uh, the fresh information into it whereas the read write memory can read as well as write or erase multiple times we can read and write the content over here uh, coming to the rom read only memory when the power supply is switched off the information stored inside a rom is not lost as it is in the case of ram chip whereas uh, the read write memory or when the power is going to be switched off the information which have been loaded or written written is going to be remain unchanged like rom example cd read write or hard disk etc <clears throat> coming to the next one random access memory uh, versus uh, sequential access memory what actually random access and sequence access the picture representation shows the data to you at the random access any data can be accessed randomly for example if we want to take the fifth data easily we can jump to the fifth memory location and we can gather the information whereas in the sequential data must be accessed sequentially to access the fifth data we have to cross the first to second third then only we can take the requested data this is going to be sequential access uh, whereas random access is going to be a fast data access sequential access is going to be a slower data access a random access example if you're going to see a ram or hard disk cd rom etc and uh, sequential access is thing but tape drivers and sequential memory sequential access memories so coming to the next one already we have come across this based on the media type of memory semiconductor storages optical storages and magnetic storage what actually a semiconductor storage is generally they are created by semiconductor materials uh, cmos chip or complementary metal oxide semiconductor chip random access memory chip are the examples of the semiconductor memory the optical storage the cd rom user laser ray to read or write or erase their data the cd rom is made up of a type of a crystal where the digital data is written as a sequence of holes or a plane surface in the crystal material cd rom driver reads data by reflecting the light from the cd rom coming to the magnetic storage a hard disk or a tape driver use a thin layer of magnetic material on the surface of disk or tape by using this method it's going to store the information on the magnetic storage